Hey guys, this is Martin again from Bug Bounty Service, and today we are going to take a look at an open redirect vulnerability. Uh, not a plain open redirect because the developers put some thought into it um, to only allow basically local redirects, and but they missed out on certain things, and hence you still can achieve a full blown redirect. So let's take a look at this. Let's refresh the page here. You can see, you can refresh the page and then you have a uh, a link here, which basically says like, you can con continue to do, do your desired website by clicking here. And this goes to challenge four effectively. So it redirects back locally to the same page as we are on right now. Let's take a look at the source code here. And when there is a redirect, typically you have something called a redirect um, parameter or something, right? So let's search for redirect. So this first one, notice is just text. And then the second one is just text, only relative redirects are allowed. And then down here, I see something interesting. So basically I see that there is an ID and there is a name set. And effectively this is my parameter. So this is the redirect URL, which I'm going to copy. And then I simply append this here, right? And I say redirect URL equals. And so let's try, first of all, to redirect to HTTP evil.com and then see if this works. We refresh this, we click on the link, or if we would click on the link, basically it didn't work, right? So there's, there's some filter mechanisms in place. And I, I believe what's happening here is that the developers are checking here after they redirect URL for, so for the actual payload um, or, for, or for the actual value, they are looking for something like, like this, right? A forward slash. So this is the typical local kind of redirect. So it, it has to start with this. But now me as a, as a researcher, can I, can I actually bypass this, right? Like, so if I go in here and for example, and if I take, um, if I use like a percentage zero nine, right? A percentage zero nine is basically the equivalent of a tab. And this may trick the filter, right? Like, because I have a forward slash, so I'm satisfying the first requirement. Then I do a tab and then I do another forward slash. Or you, you see where, where I'm getting with this? Like if I would put two forward slashes in, it would see this as one forward slash and then it's the local redirect and it doesn't work. But if I put a forward slash in, then I satisfy the filter requirements. Then I put a percentage zero nine, which is a tab and then another slash, then it may concatenate both slashes together. And then effectively you end up with something like this and the browser then interprets that as HTTP or HTTPS respectively. Right. So let's, let's see if this works. Let's go in here and then say evil.com. Okay. So I refresh this. And if I now do a mouse over, you can see here in the left corner that it actually says it's going to redirect to evil.com. So let's verify this click there. And there you go. So the, the redirect was successful and we have successfully bypassed the filter which was only supposed to allow local redirects, but we were able to redirect to another page. And we simply did this by introducing a forward slash forward slash sequence. And in the middle of these two slashes, we put a tab character, the percentage zero nine. I hope this makes sense. And I look forward to see you in one of the next videos.